I'm making this video to uh, give a little bit of information to vintage collectors slash musicians, people who collect old amplifiers and also want to play them, uh, about the use of a variac. It's a really important tool for me in uh, a lot of years of collecting. Uh, variac essentially is not just a good way to uh, very carefully bring up the voltage in your uh, transformer, your out power transformer and actually everything else in the circuit, but uh, it's a good strategy to run an app on if you're just looking to keep everything fresh and you want to play a little bit and um, you know go back and put in your memory what the difference in uh, sound is from amp to amp. So. Uh, over here we have an amplifier with a big K on it. I'm assuming it's a Kalamazoo or a K. <laughs> really, you know, a lot of times I'll pick stuff up and um, I know what era it's from and this is a guide case so I'm assuming that it came out of Chicago and uh, was either a Gibson or marketed through K and if somebody watches this video and uh, you can identify it fine. It's pretty rare. You don't see very many of them. Now right now, um, on the left, I've got a CalRAD variable amp, uh, variable volt, voltage uh, transformer, which is very much like a Variac. does the same thing. Uh, the meter isn't running right now, but uh, it is outputting and I check this all the time, but I've had it for years, it works. I don't change it. Uh, it's now running on 60 volts AC. And so it's pumping in very, very small amounts of juice into the capacitors on the amp. Now when I get an amp, uh, after I clean out whatever it is that needs to be cleaned out, I try not to touch the circuits, the capacitors, nothing at all. If I first get an amp, whether it comes off of a yard sale or, you know, somebody calls up and says uh, it's from an estate, you want to take a look at it, whatever. <coughs> uh, first thing I do is bring it up very, very slowly once I get it. And uh, so that means that I could even start running it on, uh, on 40 volts on the variac at the left and right now it's been running about 15 or 20 minutes. Now this I've had for a while and I always try to warm them up so it's a good time to uh, to show a very old amp. There's almost no question that the amp is from the early 40s uh, or the late 30s because it's built just like Gibson built them for their small Hawaiian amps. Now this amplifier is actually on. I don't know if uh, in this video you're going to be able to see that there's just a very bare glow to the tubes. And I'm going to go bring the tubes up so they're a little bit brighter. Uh, you see that enormous can capacitor on the left. And um, those things are just completely and incredibly sturdy. Uh, they can sit around for 20, 30 years. People think they're dead and they immediately want to change the capacitors. And uh, basically they just go in and they destroy kind of the, uh, you know, the real historical and curiosity value of how people built amps. This is really a simple one. It just has a volume on and off switch made to work with a Hawaiian guitar. And the Hawaiian guitar would either have volume and tone control or just volume control. If you wanted tone control, you'd, you know, you could either build a little secondary uh, circuit or just get a uh, Hawaiian that had a tone control on it. So I'm going to move in a little closer here to the, uh, the amp.
and I'm going to bring it up to about 80 volts. Now, because this was made at a time when, uh, even though house current appliances were being made at 110, and you know sometimes you will see them 110, 120, that was never guaranteed. So when they designed these, they really designed them for kind of lower voltages because they never knew what was coming through the line. Uh, I'm going to turn this around now. Okay, I'm going to post a second video um, of how this sounds running on 80 volts rather than 110 house current. And because it's running really quietly now, uh, I think the capacitors are fine. I, I keep them charged anyway. You know, I try to run an amp every, at least every six months, every single amp that I've got. And I bring them up just this way. If they sit for 20 minutes uh, at 60 volts, that's fine because it doesn't stress anything.